Dallas Eagles. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look who's sleeping comfy tonight. That's right. Oh, man. It's been far too long since an Eagles victory. Two weeks of lost mentality. That was just... That was a lot of tormenting time. The bye week came at literally the worst time, except for the injuries. Because guess what? We got Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown back, and they were on fire tonight or today. Whatever. You know, I'm in pajamas. I'm, I'm feeling like it's nighttime, so bear with me. Okay, anyways, holy cow, that game was way too close. I mean, I understand that Cleveland's defense is elite. But if it wasn't for that blocked, I also understand that if it wasn't for the blocked field goal, we beat them 9 to 20, 20 to 9. Is that right? Yeah, 20 to 9. Uh no, 23 to 9 because the field goal would have gone in. We would have gotten that that fourteen plus point victory, and that's that's honestly how I see this game. We we did play a game worthy of twenty three to nine. So that being said, I'm very pleased with how we played, because again, Cleveland's defense is is a force to be reckoned with. Um, Miles Garrett is the real deal. Everyone knows that. We all know that. So. Having to to rely on a run game, because that was the game plan, was very run heavy. Going against Miles Garrett, it, it doesn't work. And then it also sets up Miles Garrett to be able to get us on the, the blitzing, uh, or the pass rush, I mean. And it just didn't work out. But by golly, did I do good on football today. I mean, the Ravens about to get a first down. Uh, which would allow them to take three uh, kneel down and win the game, and that means we're tied with the first place team in our division in the loss column. Who else is excited about that? This guy, yeah, that's right. I'm very excited about that. Um, and then we play the Giants next week. That should be a win too. So we should improve to four and two coming out of the bye. The first two weeks that coming out of the bye, this is really good. This is going to spark some momentum for our team. Lamar Jackson's running to the edge. He got the first down. He got the first down, and then he got laid out. He absolutely got laid out there at the end. And now there's a fight. So, anyways, though he got the first down, that means Baltimore beat Washington. So we are tied with Washington in the loss column. They're four and two. We're three and two. Next week we should become four and two. And I believe next week is their bye week. I believe it is. So if we win and we become four and two, we are tied for first place in the division. That's solid, guys. Like so many complaints about the coaching, about Jalen Hurts, who was unreal in the second half. And basically the second quarter forward, he was unreal with how good he was. That first quarter really ticked me off with some of the things that he was doing. But the second quarter on, he was just lights out, lights out. He was so good in the second quarter on. Um, that throw, the drop in the bucket to A.J. Brown to, to end the game. <laughs> I still can't believe he caught that. The the one to Dotson, too. How did he place that ball so perfectly that Dotson was able to toe drag and get that first down? That was elite quarterbacking. And I, I honestly think something happened in the first quarter because it looks like Jalen Hurts snapped out of his funk and just said, you know what? I have that 2022 in me. 2021 to 22, whatever. I have that in me. It's time to show it again. I mean, it, it seems that way. Um, the injuries today. Darius Slay get better soon, although Rodgers looks better than you in that in that spot. So get better soon, but honestly, Rodgers should be starting there from now on. That's just my opinion. Um, 
Rogers, I hope you're you're fine. Jordan Maialata went down with a hamstring. We really got to pray that he's okay. I cannot believe Miles Garrett didn't tear up Jalen Hurts once Maialata went down. That's where that's where uh, that's where he lines up. Miles Garrett lines up over the left tackle, and we were on a backup left tackle, and somehow Miles Garrett didn't get after Jalen Hurts after Maialata went down. That was a miracle. That was an absolute miracle. Um, again, to all the naysayers that are going to whine about coaching again, even in a win, and are going to whine about the offense and whine that, oh, it was 20-16. to 16. The Browns are, yes, 1-5, but they have a very good defense. So, again, get over it. We are 3-2 and two now, going to face the Giants. We should beat the Giants. And become four and two. We are fine. We are not elite yet. But we are fine and we're gonna win games and put up wins. So stop calling for the coach's head on, on a platter. Stop calling for the offense to change. They're fine. The one thing I will say about the coach that time management there at the end of the second half was absolutely horrendous. He should have called a timeout. Um, when when it went to fourth down for Cleveland, so that we had plenty of time and weren't rushing, it would have been two minutes and like thirty five seconds. We would have had the the two minute warning. Instead, he wastes the two minute warning and then doesn't use any of the three timeouts, causing us to have to rush. Instead of thinking about things, we were rushing, and that led to the the sack that then led to the uh, well, it led to. Saquon Barkley running out of bounds instead of getting the first because we're rushed, which led to the sack, which led to the blocked field goal for the touchdown. Again, you take timeouts there, we win this game 23 uh, to 9, bare minimum. Probably 27 to 9. Because if you weren't rushing there, we probably would have scored a touchdown at the end of the half. So we would have won 27 to 9. So, yes, that part was terrible coaching. Terrible time management. But again, he is extending his above 500 streak. You you can't fire a guy that is above 500 and has gone to the Super Bowl in the last couple years. If we go below 500, then you can start thinking about it. But we are not below 500. And neither is his overall record. So again... I love Nick Sirianni. I love our whole team. I love Vic Fangio. I love Kellen Moore. They're doing their jobs. They're winning games. A.J. Brown, game ball for sure. That was an insanely good performance coming back from an injury. Very good. Um, Shout out, Devontae Smith. And the funny thing is, my wife and I were wearing those jerseys. I was wearing number 11. It's a once jersey, but I wore it because of A.J. Brown returning. She wore her Devontae Smith jersey. What does that tell you? That means that we know the actual issue, as I said many times, was the injuries. It's not the coaching. It's the fact that we were down our playmakers. What are we supposed to do when we're down our playmakers? Lose. Yet somehow we managed to beat the Saints. I mean, come on. Come on. (sighs) Anyways. Time to to close this out. So, fly, Eagles, fly on the road to victory. Fight, Eagles, fight. Score a touchdown, one, two, three. Hit them low, hit them high. And watch our Eagles fly. Fly, Eagles, fly, on the road to victory. E-I-G-L-E-S, Eagles! Thank you so much for watching, and until next week, Fly, Eagles, fly.